Hi, how are you today? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. My name is Bailey Sarian and today is Saturday, which means it's Saturday. You guessed it, it's Saturday. So today I woke up again. I know it just, it keeps happening, keep waking up. And like so many others out there, the first thing on my mind this morning when I woke up was, I wonder what Hillary Duff is doing. We're dying to know. You know, on her Instagram, she does little makeup tutorials on her IGTV and I love it. I am just here for it. And I recently saw that on Vogue's YouTube, you know, they do the little segment called Beauty Secrets where celebrities will do like a step-by-step -step routine, their makeup routine or their skincare routine, which I absolutely love because I am a curious cat and I love seeing what people use every day. I like to see it. I like it. I like it a lot. So I saw on Vogue, they had posted Hilary Duff's Busy Mom Makeup Routine. And I was like, four weeks ago, how did I miss that? I'm not Hilary Duff's number one fan. Why am I always sinking out of frame? I do this all the time. Sit up straight, Bailey. I thought we could watch the video and then I'll kind of like do what she's doing. Some videos I make because I want to make them and this is one of them. Nobody asked for this, but I'm doing it, okay? Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Before we jump into it, I launched new merch. So today I'm wearing the Suspish long sleeve. I'll leave in the description box and in the pinned comment if you want to check out some merch. So, Hillary Duff, Hillary Duff. I love Hillary Duff. So I went onto YouTube, doo -doo 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 -doo, typed in Hillary Duff, right? After I watched the Hillary Duff official video for Come Clean, I then made my way over to Hillary Duff's busy mom makeup routine. Now I am not a mom, nor am I busy, but I'm down for a makeup routine. So let's watch it and I'll follow along. I, is this cheesy? Well, that's fine. I love Hillary Duff. I'm Hilary Duff and I am going to show you my skincare routine today. So I'm going to tone with this Ole Henriksen toner. So one really cool thing that happened to me when I had babies was I got melasma and it hangs out right here on my forehead. So I washed my face already and I am going to also tone, but this isn't really a toner. I have the Biologique, Biologique Researchy Lotion P50 1970. I will link down below my skincare routine, even though I'm gonna do it right now. I also have melasma. That is what the darkness under my eye is, and right here as well. It happened to me, not because I had kids, but years ago, years ago when I started a new birth control, it popped up on my face. Oh, I was pissed. And then when I stopped the birth control, it didn't go away. So rude, but yeah, it sucks. If you have melasma, you understand. It's stubborn, it's hard to get rid of. It is what it is. There are worse things in life. Carry on. Not right there. I'm gonna let it dry. When it's super dry in California, glycerine, favorite vegan product. <gasps> okay, let me let that dry. But I wanted to show you, cause I actually have this brand, glycerine. I have this, it's the healing eczema ointment and it's 100% natural, organic, handcrafted skincare. I bought this, man, it's been, it's been a while. Their products are thick, almost like beeswax. And you really have to like melt it into the skin. I'm sure the products on the face are so nice, but because I am so acne prone, I'm, I don't wanna, no, I'm gonna do eye cream and then a moisturizer. Murad Vita C Eye Dark Circle Corrector and then the Elta MD AM Therapy after that. So this is a much lighter like day cream. I like to layer them cause I wanna keep my skin looking dewy. And if you have time, pushing in the product with this Nurse Jamie tool. That thing always to me looked like a, like a sex toy. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but it kind of looks like that. I don't have one of those. Bam, bam, bam. This is so much fun. It's like we're getting ready together, Hillary. It's like we're BFFs. I'm gonna move on. First, I'm gonna put on a Ren eye cream. And then my favorite thing to do with eye cream is put it here. Me too. Ooh. I just did that. Before I start my makeup, I'm gonna throw in these fancy little clips. They're the best. <laughs> I just- Why am I the fan girl? Oh, her clips are lower. Well, it's not like exact, Bailey. Chill out. Stop being a stalker. I've just recently started using this Pericone MD and I love it. I really feel like you want your skin to breathe and don't want to have a heavy coating of 
foundation on. I do not have the Paracone MD um, foundation treatment thing. I've used it before in the past and I would say it's similar to Makeup Forever, the water blend face and body foundation. It doesn't have the skincare benefits to it like the Paracone does, but similar as far as like consistency goes and coverage. This is like light to medium, plus it's waterproof. I like this stuff a lot. I just feel like though using a sponge is gonna, cause it's water, this, this foundation is water based. So your sponge will just really shear it out cause it absorbs it, but that's fine. We're going for natural. Oh, I got a bat. You like it? <laughs> I hate when you can see foundation in your hair. Me too. This product. <sighs> Okay, I just spilled everywhere, mayday. I'm gonna put on a little bit more. I don't know how many layers she put on, which is fine, but I'm just gonna put on a little bit more. Anywho, so I have the foundation on. Miss Hillary over here is flawless, gorgeous, perfect. I hope she uses concealer because I need some Hillary. <laughs> this product, again, dirty from my daughter. It has been one of my favorites for probably 10 years. It is Chanel. It's a cream bronzer. Hillary, we have so much in common. I have been using this product too for quite some time and I absolutely love it. I don't have a daughter though. I didn't know she had a daughter. I'm a fake fan. Um, I'm gonna use my beauty blender and I'm going to swirl all the way around and start really? the cheekbones. I honestly have never applied this with my beauty blender before and wow. <laughs> Because right off the bat, if you've ever used this, it's 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 different. It's very sheer. And when you apply with a brush, you're like, where the hell is it? Cause it doesn't really show up. But once you build it, it's like really, I love this product. It's one of my absolute favorites. Just cause it gives you this really soft warmth to the face. I love this stuff. I've tried to find dupes and I haven't had much luck. There's just nothing out there that I know of similar to it. Cause it's like this waxy, weird, anyways, W, yeah. I'm also going to put it on my eyes. I use this product on my eyes as well. Hillary, we have so much in common. We just started using concealer under oh, my eyes. Oh, thank God. And I need I it. Have gone. Using a flat brush by Clay de Peau. Okay, so not a lot of concealer. I love that. I am going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer, and I have the shade three. I'm going to use this one just because, holy. Okay, because it's kind of sheer and has light reflectors in it. I'm assuming like the Glossier one. I've never used that one, but oh well. I like this one, it's quite nice. I have this brush from MAC. It's the 132S brush. Dab it into the skin. I'm gonna start with my eye. She curls her eyelashes before eyeshadow. I guess that makes sense. I, I tend to do things kind of out of place, don't I? It's just makeup, there is no right or wrong. Mm, 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 mm. I used to never curl my eyelashes until I would say a couple months ago I started to. No, it's been about a year. It really does make such a difference. I don't know why I never did it before. Mm-hmm. Shantakai has this very pretty cream eyeshadow. So she has a Shantakai eyeshadow thingamabob. I don't have Hilary Duff's budget, okay? Shantakai. I love to use my fingers, but I have long nails right now. So it's like a taupe, it looks like. Taupe, taupe, I think I have a taupe somewhere. Taupe. Okay, I think this will work. This is by Koki Cosmetics. Crystal Fusion Liquid Eyeshadow. So it's kind of like the, the Stila. I mean, doesn't it look like it? Oh, it might be too glittery. Oh dear, I just wanna be Hillary Duff. I'm gonna use a flat brush. This MAC brush has been my friend for a very long time. Same product. And I'm gonna create a shadow. Smudgy, I don't like anything too perfect. Now I'm gonna go for the glitter. I have these two products by Stila and I think I'm gonna go for the non-glitter today and just the kind of wet looking shimmer. I'm gonna put it straight Which on. one's that? Okay, so it looks pink, it looks pink. Okay, so I used to have the Stila ones, but I don't know where it's at, which is so frustrating. Where'd I put it? Uh, it doesn't matter. I have this one. Again, it's Koki Cosmetics. It's called Crystal Fusion Liquid Eyeshadow. It's the shade Supernatural. It's like a pinky. I just wanna be Hillary Duff. That's cute. Yeah. I'm going back to my Chanel bronzer for a second because I want a little more bronzy under here. And then I'm going to do that a quick brush under my eye with this. Wait, 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 we're going too fast. We're going too fast. <sighs> going back to this, she, um, down here, 
Really? Okay. That's cute. Is it? Yeah. What's next? I use many different brow products, but this one I really love. It's called Kaboom by Benefit. It comes with a brush that I've actually used for a very long time, maybe too long. I like to do little strokes so they hopefully look like hair. I used to have that Benefit product, Kaboom, but I no longer have it, I think because it dried out or something. But I do have this one from CoverGirl. Same thing, it's like a waxy pomade, and then on the top, there's a brush. Hillary, is it okay if I use my own brush? This one's too small. I hope it's okay. So I brush up here in the center, and then I brush out, because you want those brows back here to like lay kind of nice and flat. Now I'm going to Hillary, wait, use wait for me. Glossy. My eyebrow looks like trash. I have to stop tweezing. I keep over tweezing because I'm just like, I don't know, restless. Is that the word? I, 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 I. Why not? Oh, this looks really bad actually. So we're just gonna have a bad eyebrow day? Is that what we're doing? Eyebrows can literally change my mood. I am now in a bad mood eyebrow. Is she gonna use a brow gel? Ugh. If you have good thick brows, you don't have to try to be as fluffy. I don't have that, Hillary. I don't have that. Okay, moving on. We have to move on because fuck this. <laughs> I'm gonna start highlighting a bit. So I do a little swirl. It kind of looks like, like a bronzer slash highlighter, huh? Well, okay, so I have this product. It's by Rimmel London and it's called the Radiance Brick in the shade 02 Medium Shimmery Bronzy. So I think this will be similar. Mm -hmm. I like to do my nose a little bit, the tip of my nose. I'm getting kind of dewy, so I'm going to use a powder. Thank God, because I am shiny as hell. Okay, so for powder, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. And I'm going to use a fluffy brush and just powder, not a lot. I'm using Hoola by Benefit. Oh, I hate my eyebrows. I keep looking at them. Oh, they're getting worse and worse. I was like, I'm gonna look like Hilary Duff today. Nope. I don't love my lashes look like super catty. I don't want to make my, like, I don't wanna have a cat eye basically. I wanna have a wake looking eye. So I tend to not put product all the way in the center. Uh, sorry, all the way on the outskirts over here. Maybe at the bottom, right by your lash line, that's okay. I'm going to contour my nose a tiny bit right here on this line. Huh? What? That's wild, Hillary. You are out of control. She is taking her song, Why Not, very literal. She's like, fucking, why not? I'm gonna do it afterwards. I'm, did she? She's using her beauty blender. Oh, it's okay. That's the fun thing about makeup. It's not a one size fits all, you know? Like these products, obviously like this face is very different than what I normally do, but that's why I like these videos because I would never do this. Not because it's wrong, I just, you know, you know. I just recently started overlining my lips a tiny bit and it scared me so bad at first. I was like, how come other people can do it and I look insane? I'm following the line and I'm only gonna make it a little bigger in the middle there, okay? I'm gonna fill in that, that Cupid's bow, YSL. I don't have that YSL, but I have M Cosmetics. This is called the Magic Hour. It's like their lip stick. It's such a pretty color. Look at that, that's gorgeous. So, powder up. Again? Just a bit. A new thing that I just added into my routine, my mom gave me this sage spray, it's called Goddess, and it smells so nice, and it's like jasmine, and I feel like it just gets me ready for the day. So this is more of an intention spray, if you will. I think anything could essentially be an intention spray, correct? And what are my intentions today? My intentions are to be a great person. Bad bitch who kills it. Give you a little shake of the hair. I like beautiful, big sex hair. Like, want people to wonder what I was doing. And I am ready. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned some tips. I hope you'll have fun doing your makeup and I'm gonna head out for the day and um, see you next time. I love Hillary Duff. Thanks, Hillary. Bye. Call me later. I don't think I did a very good job, to be quite honest. Anyways, I hope you liked today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a wonderful day today. You make good choices. And please be safe out there. Take care of yourselves. And I'll be seeing you guys very soon, Monday, if you hang out on Mondays. If not, see you next week. Bye, Hillary. I just love her.
so much. <laughs> I'm a grown ass adult fangirling over Hilary Duff. Maybe I should get some kids, then I won't be such a weirdo. Nah, I don't want kids. Mm -hmm.